now in this short lecture we are going to discuss about uh, the vacuum production i know my handwriting is not good but actually we can manage anyway so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the vacuum production and uh, <coughs> now let's collect all system discussed to design a vacuum system so first requirement is the pressure that we can obtain in our uh, process chamber so this pressure can be measured with different units in SI units pressure is measured in Pascal so 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per meter square and uh, 1 bar is equal to 10 power 5 Pascal and 1 atm pressure that is 1 atmospheric pressure is equal to 1 bar the most important variable in the design of a vacuum machinery is the pressure which the pumping system must be able to maintain in the working chamber the pressure is commonly expressed in millibars or in tor we can use vacuum for uh, different processes so we can define different ranges of pressure mostly the classification is made in the ranges of three orders of magnitude according to the pressure range different vacuum levels can be defined low vacuum region low vacuum region we can define the pressure between 10 power 3 to 1 millibar in medium vacuum region the pressure ranges from 1 to 10 power minus 3 millibar in high vacuum region the pressure ranges from 10 power minus 3 to 10 power minus 6 millibar and um, in ultra high vacuum region in ultra high vacuum region the pressure ranges from less than 10 power minus 6 millibar and we have industrial process for uh, all these ranges like for example um, low vacuum low vacuum region is preferred for uh, drying and uh, food processing food processing medium vacuum region medium vacuum region is preferred for uh, steel degassing steel degassing and vacuum distillation high vacuum high vacuum high vacuum region can be obtained uh, like is preferred mainly for uh, PVD coatings that is physical vapor deposition coatings and ultra high vacuum region is preferred for uh, surface analysis
So this is the first stage for uh, maintaining, that is the, this is the first requirement for uh, creating and designing a vacuum system. Now in the next lecture, we are going to uh, discuss the last step to design a vacuum system by deriving the relationship between the flow rate and the pressure difference. So for now, thank you.